Macedonia 150 here, and this time it's going to be a video response to some to a video originally by a channel called Nintendo Arcade, and it's top 10 arcade cabinets I'd love to own. And this is on you, this is if you have limited money and you're in limited space. What would you own? So, all right, so let's go on with it. So number one, we got to have a puzzle game versus puzzle game, and I'd pick Super Puzzle Bobble. Which is not, which is a different game in the arcade than it is on the console, so that's kind of confusing, I know, but the arcade version never left the arcade of this. Now, I was going to pick the Puzzle Bobble 4 slash Busted Move 4, but then I realised, then I thought about something. All my favourite characters in the versus mode are not in the arcade version, only console exclusive. And all my favourite characters from that version was was put into Super Puzzle Bobble, the sequel, the arcade on the sequel. And it has a unique puzzle mode that's different on it. It's got the versus multiplayer mode. Oh yeah, and obviously you can play the versus mode against an, another person locally as well. So yeah, great puzzle game. It's a shame I've only ever played it on MAME. It's got a bit wonky sound on MAME, but it plays perfectly fine. Weirdly, not really with that sound problems. Just that one. Well, anyway, number two, Metal Slug 3. Yeah, you gotta have a run and gun in an arcade, and Metal Slug 3 is one of the best ones ever made, and one of the best action games ever made. One of the nice looking ones as well. And you gotta either have a Neo Geo game of some kind, so yeah, I'd pick Metal Slug 3. No contest for that. I mean, I've got the game and loads of systems, and which is a game I've bought at least three or four times, so yeah. So, right, third game, Bull Bobble. Classic. Platform game by Taito. Played loads and loads of this game. It's very hard to actually get good at. Very long, <laughs> certainly difficult to get good at. But I'd have to have it in an arcade because it's just that good. Number four, Dig Dug. Now the reason why now now my memories of this mostly is the Atari 2600 version, which is a great part part of the game. Obviously, I have the arcade version in. An arcade, obviously. It plays exactly the same as the Atari versions. Obviously, better graphics. <laughs> Great game, and then I'm fairly good at. Right, so number five Boogie Wings. This is a side scrolling shooter by Data East. That has really nice visual, detailed visuals. Where well, you essentially play as a person who can hop into aeroplanes and, and other vehicles that are just lying on the ground. So basically, you don't die in this game if you lose your plane or your vehicle. You can then jump into another vehicle and just continue on. And there's hundreds, well not hundreds, but at least about 20 different vehicles you can jump to, like missile launchers, tanks, elephants, pogo sticks, there's, there's all sorts. And the plane itself you've got has got a hook on it, so what you start off, start off with and you can pick, pick objects and fling at things, <laughs> which is fun. And when you play it multiplayer, it's even more crazy because you can actually use the hook and grab or grab, pick the other player up and throw them at, <laughs> throw them at other things. So if were, so if there's no vehicles around, and other players kind of not kind of going to die because there's no vehicle around. They can just jump on the plane, and the other player isn't and just run around shooting like crazy until the vehicle pops up to top it. Great game that's really underrated. Never been really released on much outside of. A, the yeah, plug and play thing. That's the only thing that's ever been released on, which is a real shame. Right, number six. Another side, one of the favourite side scroll, my favourite side scroll in space shooter ever, and that's G Darius. Now, I played this more on the PS1, but it plays exactly the same in the arcade. And yeah, the game's very bullet hell and com gets completely insane. It's got insanely weird music that fits it perfectly and still looks graphically good today despite being. 20 year old. Great game, G Darius. Is. I'd really recommend playing it if you can. Hard, but really fun. Right. Number 7, House of the Dead 2. you got to have a light gun game if you've got an arcade, and House of the Dead 2 is one of my favourites. It's just, I love the music in the game, and the dialogue is absolutely hilarious. Like, my god, to protect the life cycle, and all these utterly ridiculous lines they all say, and really deadpan voices, which makes it even funnier. It's a game that I think is one of the funniest games I've ever made, just because of the voice acting and how stupid it all sounds. 
and 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 when, not many other games have actually replicated it and in that way. Also, most people have played obviously too. It's, it was a really common game in arcades. Another game is nearly 20 years old as well. It's the only game in this actual list that's a fully 3D game. It's everything's 3D in as well. Right, so number 8, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Definitely one of my favourite fighting games ever made. I've never, never been very good at fighting games, so, so this one I could vaguely do, and there were lots of characters to play as, and I knew lots of them were, so that's a good thing. And it has that really weird, cheesy element of music that don't fit the game whatsoever. <laughs> And the sequels are far more disappointing games, let's face it. Right, so number number nine is gonna be Battle Circuit. And this was a side this was Capcom's final side scrolling beat up for the arcades. I think it was ninety seven or ninety eight this one. Yeah, it's a beat em up game by Capcom, really detailed graphics, a really weird sense of humour. You've got like an upgrade system where you can like you get coins in the game and you use the coins to get extra weapons and extra special moves. Or you can use them to get bikes for lives and other things like health pickups. And, and you can play as a giant plant man in it and, uh, and, and, and a flying ostrich with an eye patch as a bounty hunter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, go play, go play this game if you can. You'd have to play it on an arcade emulator because it never released on anything else, unfortunately. Which is a real shame. Right, number 10, it's going to be Smash TV, the sequel to Rob, not the, the sort of unofficial sequel to Robotron 2084. A game that's full of weird colours, explosion, random millions of people <laughs> exploding in the pools of blood. And yeah, I always love Smash TV. I'm not very mean, very good here, I can never get past, even from one credit, even get, to get past the first boss, but yeah, I still have a real blast playing it. Well, yeah, that was my top 10 arcade machines I would love to own, so thank you for listening and watching.